Benjamin Lay, in his day, let's say in the 1730s, was probably the most radical person on the planet. He had a completely integrated, radical worldview. He was class conscious, he was race, con race conscious, he was gender conscious, he was conscious of the need for people not to kill animals, uh, he was a committed vegetarian, and he was uh, environmentally conscious. Now, we're talking about 280 years ago, this man had this set of ideas, which sound to us to be curiously modern. Uh, Benjamin Lay was a vegan 200 years before that word was actually invented. So how did this happen? Benjamin Lay's, all of his ideas were closely interrelated because he believed that God was in all living things, and all living things were therefore sacred and must not be the objects of violence and must not be oppressed. One of the most unusual things about Benjamin Lay was how he sought to act out his ideas through what I call guerrilla theater. In public places, Benjamin Lay would always do things to humiliate slave owners in public. He always said that you must act out your ideas in public, and even more importantly, you must speak truth to power. In other words, you must look squarely in the eyes of the most powerful people, in this case slave owners, Quaker slave owners, and you must tell them that they are wrong. Benjamin Lay embraced this idea and acted upon it throughout his life. Benjamin Lay is someone who has a kind of timeless power because his radicalism extended to all areas of life. He actually had a critique of capitalism. Benjamin Lay said, when you drop a cube of sugar into your tea, remember that sugar is made with blood on the sugar plantations of the West Indies and you must remember the worker. I think that is a powerful message that resonates to this day. Uh, and I think in some ways, we still haven't caught up to Benjamin Lay. So I hope we can make him part of our present and part of our imagination of a better future. Mm -hmm.